Grace and Morris Marks were newlyweds and they attended the 1939-1940 World's Fair and they saw the first polarized 3D movie. And I like to think that after seeing the first polarized 3D movie, they went home, did what newlyweds do, and nine months later, I emerged. And that's why I do 3D now. Can you find me? This is me. So look, this is Life Magazine's story about my school. And the lesson is about astronomy. I was an astronomy loving kid and it was the Hayden Planetarium that I loved. Being a Manhattan kid, was an enormous influence and an enormous benefit. So this is what I do today. Here is a picture at a street fair on Saturday. And I now carry a, um, a digital 3D camera with me all the time. It just came right out of my pocket. I, I, I've taken to always wearing uh, cargo pants. And if I leave the string sticking out, I can just quick grab it on the street and I'm ready to take a picture. I decided on a New Year's Eve that I was going to be a visual artist. There was a woman sitting on a couch and she said what everyone says, what do you do? And I remember saying, I'm an artist. And I remember my mouth forming the words, I am an artist. And I had no idea what I do. I just knew I was gonna be a visual artist. I was somewhere between six and eight, and I bought a star chart. I think I was getting it for my birthday. And the salesman at the planetarium store said, do you want stereo picks? We had no idea what that was, my father and I. And my father said, how much is it? And the man said, 15 cents. And he said, we'll take it. So I had this book with 3D pictures in red and green. That book changed my life. But then somehow it disappeared, you know, adolescence came and rock and roll came into the world and my mind went elsewhere. I put on a t-shirt today, specially in honor of this, the Rolling Stones in Tokyo. This was where I got to go to parties, and this was where I really got to uh, enjoy being a rock star video maker. It was 89 that the Rolling Stones had their Steel Wheels tour, and I suddenly had this opportunity to direct three 3D music videos. One of the songs that I did was called 2000 Light Years From Home, sort of a space song. And I bought that projector as an expense when I was making one of the Stones videos. And that is a model of an antenna that was on top of the set. The thing that I do most now as my own artwork is I work on my photography in Adobe Photoshop and then it goes into a keynote presentation. 
and I do it for professional groups, I do it for groups of friends, I do it in various hip art galleries, and the elementary school that I had attended, Hunter College Elementary School. They have a program where they bring back alum, and I gave a presentation to first graders. And I showed the first graders all my 3D slides, and they loved it. They went crazy for it. They were ooing and aahing, and they had these glasses on, and they're feeling for the 3D. Why is 3D the thing that I do? That's the question, why? You know, things in our childhood do affect us. In the year 2000, the uh, museum had torn down the uh, old Hayden Planetarium and they built the spectacular new one. And they had a film festival. And I created a 3D slideshow based on my digital restoration of that 1942 book, Stereopix. And I suddenly realized that I had been influenced by this early book. 3D is a super specialty. It has its own wonderful magic. It will always be one aspect of the image, but um, it, it's never everything.